my perspective, it's a great way to make connections with people. And you never know what's going to happen uh, when you come to Web Summit. You, know, you wait, you have a schedule, you might have some things you think you're going to do, and then you'll meet someone during the day that can uh, change completely the course of what you, where you're headed. It really has been that way for me. So I think the most valuable thing is just the, the people you get to meet here, engage with, the friendships you develop. It's a great place to, to, uh, to make those relationships. What I learned at NASA was that uh, the success is the success of the team and not the success of the individual. We found things that we might not have been good at. Uh, hopefully there was someone else on the team that was good at that. And it could be anything from uh, figuring out navigation to working a robot arm to flying an airplane uh, to some of our training exercises, whatever it is. Some people are generally better at other things than, than, than not everybody can be good at everything. And it's very complex what you do. It's not, not any one thing is that hard, but the whole situation, putting everything together becomes complex. So the only way that you're going to be successful is if everyone works together. And it's, but it's a sort of mindset change where you want to contribute to the success of the team because you don't want to let down your teammates. But the way you measure success is what you accomplish together. So it's a, it's a team success or it's a team failure. As astronauts, we like to do things, right? But whenever you could get help from a computer or if a robot could do it, you know, that's, that's usually a better option. It's always going to be something for people to do. So I think it's more a question of how people can work and use the automation. And if artificial intelligence continues to go and we can hand more and more things over to automatic systems, that's great. There's always going to be something for people to do. The space shuttle was very intensive for, for people to be involved with is on board. All the maneuvers, all the systems had to be turned on and off by an astronaut. Now on the space station, most of those things are, can be done automatically or from the ground. So you can offload that from the astronauts and they can do other things. They can do experiments and do the things that you need people there. So I think it's important to embrace the technology as it comes along. Have a person do what they're best at, what you don't have technology for, but try to rely as much as you can on technology to help you.